Hi friends. What do you think? Should we make some cider? I think we should. It is a rainy day in New Jersey. The temperature has been coming down all week. And this will make your house smell great. This is great for any point from now until, well, even past New Year's. So I have one 64 ounce, is that right? Yep, 64 ounces of, I'm picking Honeycrisp apple juice um, organic, Simply Balanced Target. And um, this is my standard, um, I make it for church meals, I make it um, for friends and family gatherings. It's just simple, it's so easy, and um, everybody's happy to have a hot, warm drink. And um, let's make it. So apple juice, whatever your favorite kind of apple juice is, um, I use at least one, I'm just doing one bottle, so I'm just gonna do one apple, I've got a Granny Smith, and I've got one navel orange um, just cut up with the juice. Make sure you save the juice. Get all those guys in there. Now I will do this like I am just in my Dutch oven um, over a high heat to start. Um, or I'll put it in my crock pot and let it cook all day. Um, and if I'm in a rush, I'll get it going in a boil, transfer it to my crock pot, move it over to the church or wherever I'm going. So I've got um, my apple juice, I've got my orange, my apple. I'm actually gonna get a fourth of a cup of regular orange juice. Um, I would usually maybe squeeze an orange, but I don't have another orange. So this is just gonna give it a little more tang. Um, you could add more if you want more tang. Um, but I just had Peyton buy me a little uh, baby orange juice. We're not big juice drinkers, um, so there's that. Okay, now, nutmeg um, is kind of strong, but it's so good. And I'm gonna put a half a teaspoon of nutmeg. I'm gonna put a teaspoon bit more of clove. If you've got whole cloves, great. I don't, so I'm going with what's in the pantry. Um, I think I have cinnamon sticks somewhere, but I don't know where. So I'm going with at least a tablespoon of cinnamon. If you have cinnamon sticks, put two in and let that boil along with it. I'm not adding any sugar. The apple juice has enough sugar in it. You wanna add a splash, and I mean literally a splash of vanilla. That kind of changes it a little bit. If you are just looking for your standard everyday cider, don't put a splash of vanilla in. Um, but it does kind of wake up the others, wake up the spices and kind of give you a nice um, little thing that people kind of go, huh, there's something else in there. Um, the thing about this is I'm gonna let it boil because that's it, right? I'm gonna let it boil and then I'm gonna put it on low and then I'm just gonna let it cook until the apples um, are basically soft. Right now they're really crunchy because I just chopped them up, but I'm gonna let them just cook. So that's what I really like about this is that when you scoop and um, get a cup of hot cider, you're also getting a couple of bites of fruit and that's kind of fun and a surprise because um, not everybody does that. Now, if this is for grown-ups, there's some things you can add to it, right? Um, a little splash of rum or a little splash of um, whiskey or bourbon. I have a little bourbon in the house. Um, my Kentucky boy does not drink bourbon, but I like a little bourbon once in a while or a whiskey. And that would be really lovely um, in the cider. So this is my standard basic, it's not rocket science, but it's just such a nice treat. 
make a pot, leave it on the stove, go into it. You can microwave it afterwards um, if you want. Um, you can add things to It's really nice over ice if you want, if you're not a hot drinker. Um, but you wanna make this this week, I'm telling you. Love from New Jersey, friends. While she drinks out of a California cup. Okay, I want you to see the color difference from when we started. Look at how rich this is, right? So that's the oranges are basically on the bottom. You want to just take a little taste. Now, this is a fun little cup. I did not pack my life for the most part when I moved out of Scotland. Um, a mission team did it with me. And so I have a couple of pieces that don't belong to me, but belong to the stable. So this little cup and I have a brown plate that belongs to the stables as well but I love them. I didn't think it was worth sending back um, <laughs> to the stable. They must have been in my house and just uh, in the Glebe and got packed, but I love it. When I want a hot little drink, it's the perfect size. And um, that's good. So it's just on low, it's gonna keep cooking. The other thing I wanted to mention is so I have a couple of ice cube trays that are not ice cube trays in my regular fridge. These I use for different things I wanna freeze, but I want them in small things, but I don't want my ice cubes to taste like pesto or broth or whatever. Now, remember I said that I used a fourth of a cup of orange juice. We're not gonna drink the orange juice, but I am gonna freeze it into ice cubes and then it'll go into a Ziploc bag in the freezer once the ice cubes are frozen. And then I can add that to a fruit pie. I can add that to kind of an orange um, sauce. I would put a couple of these in um, a butternut squash. I'll make that um, in the coming weeks. So it's a great way just to add a little splash of citrus into your life, into a dish, into a sauce. Um, and actually that's gonna give me 12 ice cubes of orange juice. So then I'm not wasting the orange juice, but I'm also not drinking it because I don't wanna drink something I don't wanna drink, but it's gonna give me a little splash of flavor uh, out of my freezer. So that's just an extra tip for today. Okay, friends, make some cider, be cozy, be kind to yourself. Um, more love from New Jersey.